My team right now is filled completely with insanely good prospects. The only problem is I'm basically not going to be able to use any of them. Today, I'm going to be taking a team like the Marlins, who right now in this game have a player salary of $100 million. I'm going to be running that thing all the way up, hopefully beating the Mets and Steve Cohen and winning a World Series with the most expensive team in LB history. Now, the only reason why I have all these prospects is basically for this reason. If I want to go out and get someone like Aaron Judge, I am not going to be able to do that with just the normal Marlins players. So really, Basically, the only way that we can get these insanely good players is by trading a lot of these prospects and there we go also every single month that goes by while i'm simming i'm gonna have one wheel spin on the wheel of mlb position so whenever we end up spinning this wheel i will end up being able to get a certain category right now outfielder i'd be able to go out and trade for the most expensive outfielder in the game right now should be pretty simple let's see how the heck this team does and let's see if we can get that ring for miami come on baby starting off opening day right now we're at march 31st so technically clean there we go we're in a new month let's go ahead and spin the wheel will who the heck am i gonna be getting first and who am i gonna be spending money on a shortstop that's oh boy okay they're expensive we're coming out real freaking hot with a shortstop oh my god ironically the most expensive shortstop at least going into 2023 is gonna be Corey seager this is gonna be making 35 million dollars in 2023 and i really hope the guy can well, make a comeback for the rangers because that's so much freaking money and just so you know how this game is right now a franchise coach is letting me get this dude for basically one-on-one -on -one with garrett hampson we'll do garrett hampson and jose and i'm able to get Corey seager that's so insane but there we go we got him on the marlins and right there our 35 million dollar shortstop again i hope he does well let's go and get the next month started let's get to that wheel spin let's see how miami's doing may 1st right now 13 to 14 honestly on par with literally everybody besides the freaking nationals oh my god they're dead let's see what type of position we could upgrade this time well i'm not gonna lie i would love a pitcher so if you could just give me a pitcher and no it's not looking like it are we gonna go outfield no freaking shot okay here we go is it about time for me to go and get mike trout i know for a fact the angels are gonna be dumb enough to get rid of him, so i cannot wait for this my boy is going to be $35.5 million a year at a 99 overall. Oh, my God. All right, who the heck are we sending over? Alec Thomas, for sure. There we go. Maybe Jason Dominguez. This has turned out to be an absolute bag, but it's worth it. And then maybe O'Neal Cruz? No. Wow. Bobby Witt? There we are. Okay. A little too much. I thought that was going to be fine. All right, Jose Miranda? Okay, still no. Curtis Mead? No. Hey, what about like a pitcher or something? The Angels definitely need that. Let's go with Hunter Green. There we go. Beautiful. Alec Thomas, Jason Dominguez, and Hunter Green for Mike freaking Trout. This game, dude. But just like that, we get our first 99 on the Marlins and now the most expensive dude in the MLB. Let's see how we do in May after Mike Trout's on the freaking Marlins. June 1st, we're doing a lot better. 28 and 26. Again, in second place right now. Only bound the Phillies. That's freaking disgusting, dude. Back to the wheel. What are we getting? Again, I wouldn't mind a pitcher and we're going back to the outfield. All right. I I think I know who to get. Right now, the second most expensive outfitter only to Mike Trout, Aaron Judge. And for Michael Harrison Corbin, we should be able to get this dude super easy. Let's just throw in a deep potential. And there we go. Yankees, thank you, dude. Thank you so much. In the middle of the order, I think Miami's going to do well here. We got Mike Trout and Aaron Judge as our three and four. Hey, July 1st, we're slowly doing better. 43 and 38. Again, I've been saying it for the past two months. We need that freaking pitcher. Let's hope we can get it. Also, look at this. Just from adding Mike Trout, Aaron Judge, and Corey Seager, we're first in rank in the MLB. The Miami Marlins, dude. First in rank. Now, again, the one thing that would help us is actually having a decent pitcher, and it's going right by it. No! We get another shortstop. Really? We were one off from the stupid pitcher, dude. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not exactly as excited about this one as Aaron Judge and Mike Trout, but we gotta go out and get Francisco Lindor. The second biggest shortstop money-wise, plus we're taking him from the freaking Mets. So we're straight up taking him from a division rival. Not bad at all. Let's get him, and there we go. We got Corey Singer now at third base, hitting below a 250. So, Corey, what the heck is that? That, dude. And then over at shortstop, we got Francisco Lindor with literally the exact same stats basically as Corey. Francisco Lindor has two more RBIs than Corey Seager, and these guys have a combined total of, I think, what? 70-something million for us right now? That's so freaking bad. Coming up in July now, this is our last month of being able to trade, at least in the regular season. In the offseason, though, we're going to be counting August, September, and hopefully October if we end up making it in. Now I'm just going to end up spinning the wheel three times and making three trades in the offseason. It should be easy enough. But hey, let's see how July treats us, and let's hope that we can get a bigger lead in this NL East. Here we are. Trade a 60 of 47, baby. Not bad at all for the first ranked team in baseball. It's still so weird to see it. But Will, where the heck are we going, baby? Please, God, let it hit you. Pick, and we're going with another freaking shortstop. 
to be honest, I don't mind this one. I think it's going to be Carlos Correa. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he's making 33 just below Francisco Lindor. And this dude Correa down here in Miami would be absolutely insane. And hey, we're just going to do a one for one. Jeremy Pena for Carlos Correa, which is so weird to do, but there we go. Now, just from the shortstops alone, they're taking up over $100 million. Correa, Lindor, and Seager. This is stupid. Let's see how we finish up during the year. Hopefully making the postseason. Let's make those trades in the offseason. Come on, baby. Hey, I don't want to hype it up too much, but the Marlins looking fantastic heading to the end of the year. And there we go. Taking our division, baby. 94 and 68 in the first year of this thing. I know we got like five dudes that are incredible, but still doing that without a single pitcher either is kind of insane as well. Did any of the guys that we just get get the award? And no, actually, I don't think. No, not at all. We got Carlos Craig getting a gold glove, but who really cares about that? St. Louis first. Let's get into it. How are we going to do in this NLDS? Right now, tied 1-1 through the first two games. Joe Ryan, come on, baby. Okay, lost that by one. One, two, and we lose it by another run. Dude, one, three in the last two games come down to one run. Are you serious? Cardinals, how you doing? And of course, they win the stupid World Series. I really wanted to make it to November just to squeak out that last player. Right now, we're going to have August, September, and now October to get three players. Let's go and get the wheel spins going for August. Right now, what are we going to get? We got, please stop, please stop, please stop. There we go. We finally get our pitcher. And no, dude, no, no, no. I just realized, I think the number one pitcher is going to be freaking Max. I think it's Max and my boy's dead basically in this game. Where is he right now? Obviously, should be on the Mets, but my dude is not even a 75 overall. <laughs> Where the heck is he? Guys, what? Hello? Where did Max go? Dude, he's not on the Mets anymore. Where did my boy go? Don't tell me he retired. Bro, where you at? He actually retired. You're lying to me. You're actually gonna lie to me. Okay. Well, we can't get Max Scherzer. The guy ended up retiring, which is insane. The next dude up is gonna be Justin Verlander, who's on the same team because the Mets are just that broken. JV making $40 million a year in 2023, even though in this game it's 35 because it's capped because this game sucks. Let's just go ahead and trade out a pitching prospect for him. Jack Leiter. No. Wow. Grayson. There we go. Grayson Rodriguez for JV. There we are. The Marlins now have Justin Verlander. I'm going to be honest, not exactly the pitcher I was looking for because my guy's 40, but hey, what's our next spin going to be looking like? Come on, just not a shortstop. That's really all I ask. And third baseman, going back to the infield, but I'll take it. I'm pretty sure the number one third baseman should be Nolan Arenado. Wait, no, 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 no. It's Rendon, isn't it? It's actually going to be Rendon. Please, God, coach, MLB gods, whatever is up there, please don't let it be Anthony Rendon and God dang it. 38.5 million. What are the Angels doing? The Angels couldn't have just given the guy 32 million a year. Really? He's got to go 38 and be the highest paid third baseman. Again, that's so annoying. I could add Arenado. I could add Manny Machado, but no, I get Anthony Rendon. All right, well, Angels, there we go. I'll take good care of him. I promise. The guy's an 81 overall and played 60 games last year. Oh, God. Two out of three will spins down though. Let's see what we get next. Please, God, don't let it be another guy like Anthony Rendon. That's all I care about. Pitcher, please. No, going back to stupid shortstops. Oh my God. I don't mind the shortstops. I really don't. There are a lot of good players there, but I might as well just be building a full team of shortstops at this point. I mean, look at the freaking shortstops we got in this team already. The guy that we're getting, though, I'll be honest, I'm pretty excited about. We're getting Trey Turner. This dude is going to be electric down here in Miami, and we should be able to get him, right? Jacob Berry? No. Okay, Jordan? No. Oh God. MJ Melendez, you got to come over here for him. There we go. All right, we got him. Trey Turner now, Jordan Miami. With all three of those trades on, let's go ahead and get back to the regular season. Let's see how we do. I I swear to God, we better get farther than the stupid NLDS this time around. Because if we don't, coach right back there is getting punted straight out the window. <laughs> Right now, we're coming in first in rank, second in contact, first in power, and third in pitching. Very, very good for this Marlins team. Also, we got a budget right now of 362 million. That's so much. We beat the Mets. We actually beat the Mets in player salaries. I, that's so insane. But let's get back to a regular season March, and there we go. We are out of March. Unfortunately, losing by freaking five. I don't know how the heck that happened. Let's go ahead and fix the misery. We're spending way more money than we should, and please, God, there we go. I finally get to pick something. I'm not gonna lie. If it was another shortstop, I would have gone crazy but hey i finally get to pick this very very good again the guy that i pick has to be insane money wise but i could be a little bit more lenient i don't have to go for someone like anthony rendon if i don't want to go for him even though we already have him again absolute freaking pain but right now i'm looking at pictures and there's one guy that's jumping off the board to me shohei otani baby this dude is gonna be so freaking expensive all right julio can almost get there oh god bobby wood jr and there we go julio and bobby wood jr for shohei otani and we got him baby okay right now it shows that the guys only making six 
6.1 million, but I promise you, he is way more than that. Plus, he's gonna be a free agent, so we have to sign him. He's easily gonna get 35 million a year, so there we go. Let's see how we do in April for our first full month with a great team. Here we go, May 1st, we're 18 and 10. Not bad. Again, still be on the Phillies. I feel like we should be getting past them, but whatever. For April, let's go ahead and spin it again. What the heck are we gonna be getting, baby? We got, oh my God, oh my God. Coach, seriously, what is this, dude? We're getting another shortstop. The next shortstop on the list is gonna be Xander Bogarts out there with San Diego now. Riley Green and Troy going over there. And now we got my boy Xander in a spot that I was hoping would actually get him this offseason, Miami. I know it would have been crazy, but this dude in Miami, oh my God. So many of these guys in Miami would actually fit so well, but there we go. Xander Bogart's gonna be sliding there very, very well. And look at this team now. Again, we gotta get another outfielder. We gotta get first base. We honestly have to get second base as well. Catching, it, it's fine, I think. Adley, I mean, if we get a catcher, I'm perfectly fine with it, but Adley right now is holding it down. Basically what I'm saying is, can we please stop getting these stupid shortstops? If we get it one more time, I'm taking it off the stupid wheel. Now, May's officially done. We're in first place in the NL East, 41 and 18. Also, we're nine and one in our last 10 games. Very good, Miami. And Will, this is a big spin right here, okay? This is gigantic. If we get shortstops again, I'm taking it off. Let's see, what are we gonna get? We get, finally, dude, a first baseman. Oh my God. No disrespect to my boy Vinny, the Italian God, but Jesus, we've needed somebody else. Also, I am almost a thousand percent sure the most expensive first baseman is actually gonna be Freddie Freeman. Even though he's 33 and in this game, he's kind of dying a little bit. He's gonna be electric down here. And there we go, Jordan, Francisco, and Kellen for Freddie Freeman, baby. There we are. That was a gigantic goal that we got filled and look how good this top of the order is looking. June, let's get it. Let's continue to do better. Dude, June was a freaking movie. We barely lost any games in june and now we're 58 and 24. one more wheel spin coming in what the heck are we gonna get here we got outfield finally we get to replace Jorge Soler also now that we got Mike Trout and Aaron Judge who the heck is the most expensive outfitter I mean Bryce Harper definitely comes to mind we got Christian Yelich unfortunately we got Mookie Betts comes to mind but for 2023 who the heck is gonna be making the most money who the heck do we got no freaking shot Chris Bryant Colorado's paying this guy 28 million and he is the third highest paid outfitter that is insane but there we go we can do a one for one this game Jorge Soler for Chris Bryant and I guess that's okay. There we go. We got a good left fielder, I guess. I honestly was hoping for Bryce Harper or somebody insanely good like that, but no, we don't get that yet. Here we go. Treadline line still at the very top of the NL East by almost 10 games. Let's go. And Miami is now coming in first and pretty much everything that matters except for speed. Again, an absolute super team, but when you have a team like this, I would hope you're that good. All right, here we go. What do we got coming in? Please, God, let it be another pitcher. I really need a pitcher and second base okay honestly not bad jazz it has been an absolute pleasure who do we got to go for though i'm pretty sure it's jose yeah jose altuve and we can get him one for one jazz chisholm for jose altuve there we go let's run this thing to the second half again pitching is not exactly a strong spot but let's hope that we can at least do good enough to get us to the world series this year come on september coming to a close and no dude so close 115 and 47 i was really hoping that we could actually end up taking it i wanted that on be record so bad awards we gotta have something we have six of them okay there we go who do we got hanker an award going to Mike Trout. There we are. Beautiful. MVP, by the way, going to Mike Trout. And Silver Slugger to Mike Trout. Is he going to get the triple crown? There we go. Mike Trout triple crown. Absolutely insane. By the way, a 330 with 48 home runs. Dude, he only played 142 games as well. My boy's war is going to be disgusting. 10.8. Oh my God, Mike. All right, here we go. Let's get it going. Shohei Otani versus the Braves and Mike Soroka lost that one. All right, Sandy versus Ian Anderson. One of that. There we go. Thank you. Spencer Strider versus Max Freed. There we are. Won that one. 1 0. And then Trevor Rogers lost that. Guys, don't tell me. Show A, please. There we are. I can't believe we almost lost that. With an offense that looks like this, we almost lost that. Dodgers, let's just get this thing going. Won the first game, lost the second game. God dang it. Shohei Otani coming back up. Won that 2 1. Sandy won that one as well. 3 1. And then Spencer, come on, baby. Or not get absolutely freaking destroyed. Trevor Rogers. There we are. Going to the World Series, finally. And no, coach, don't you dare do this to me. The Rays might be beating the Astros and coming to the World Series. An absolute tropical World Series as the Astros ruin that. But okay, there we go. Let's see how the heck we do. Shohei Otani versus Lance McCullers in the World Series. Won that one. Nine to nothing. Setting the tone early. Sandy, come on. Versus Luis, he's got a five-year right. You got to do better. There we are. Three, two. Beautiful job. Trevor versus Christian Javier. We beat Christian Javier. I cannot believe that, dude. Potentially the final game. We got to go in. Come on. In the order, we got Trey Turner, Freddie Freeman, Mike Trout, Aaron Judge, Carlos, Xander. The team's ready to go. Let's get it going, baby. And let's beat the crap out of these Astros. Come on, boys. Xander Bogart's got Aaron Judge on first. Okay. Never mind. Adley. 
Yikes. And Joey Gallo, of all guys, hits a bomb. Are you serious? Come on, guys. Let's get it around. Freddie Freeman, pop out. All right. Mike, round out. Wow. And they end up scoring another one. Plus three. Jazz Chisholm, dude. Jazz hit the bomb. Are you serious? All right, Strider, that's exactly not what I need you to do. And they're actually beating the crap out of us. Guys, it's six nothing. Oh my God, Jordan. We're actually asleep. Bro, we are asleep at the wheel. What happened? Dog, this was embarrassing. What the heck happened? We got three hits. We finished with three hits. We got three hit by Jose Urquidy. You're out of your mind. Okay. Now, Joe Ryan on the mound. We're running it back. This time around, though, we're changing up the lineup a little bit. Frankie Lindor is going to be leading off. That's a double. There we are. And Freddie scores him immediately. That's what I'm talking about. Just that little change. That right there is something that we needed desperately. Jazz, of course, hits a double. Please get out of it. There we go. Nice job, boys. We're still only up by one, though, so I don't like it. But that's at least one more than the freaking Astros. So that's really all that matters. I mean, this entire offense has five hits right now in the top of the seven. I don't know if that's just because the Astros have such good pitching or if it's the fact that we're choking so bad. Please, bases loaded. Mike Trout, do something big here, baby. Single. There we go. That's why he's paid the big money my boy on a mission to get his first ring as well come on guys get it for him three straight walks zach Britton, you suck so bad make him pay for it frankie come on pop out freddy they actually got out of that i cannot believe it joe ryan honestly i don't care go ahead and go for it ground out ground out we're going in versus jordan come on bro we have a 98 percent chance of winning this thing if i somehow give this up from sucking oh my god coach is getting body slammed. My boy's gonna get hit with a WWE move. I swear to God. Jordan, though, with the change up, there we go. He couldn't compete with it, baby. And just like that, Miami has officially won the World Series with probably the most expensive team in human history. Awards, we got Francisco Lindor for the World Series MVP. I cannot believe that. And Mike Trout for the playoff. And to end it all off, the team ended up spending $443 million to win that World Series. Beating the Mets by $100 million. It's kind of insane that this team is only 100 mil more expensive than the stupid Mets.